Good morning everybody. It is 20 minutes past 6, Monday morning. Uh, I just looked at the date too. <laughs> anyway, it's early February and um, I'm just about to leave this uh, sporting oval and um, head on down to Bansdale. I've got to go to a tobacconist down there and uh, get some, uh, hopefully they've got some vape juice there because I'm almost out. And then from Bensdale, I've got to go to a bike shop, um, get them to do, uh, adjust the brakes, the back brakes, and, and the, the ones on the front, I didn't do a great job the other day, they're a bit tight, um, so my idea is that I'll pay someone to adjust them, I will watch how they do it, and uh, if there are any questions that come up in my pretty little head, I can ask them. And then I know going forward how to do it. But the thing is, I, I think what I need is a long Allen key to get through these spokes down here and adjust the, the disc pad in through the little uh, twisting hex head things they've got there. I'm just guesstimating that's what I need. Unfortunately, none of my uh, Allen keys are long enough. The spokes keep getting in the way, so... I had basically only adjusted the wire. So you know how you loosen the wire and then you pull the wire through and then tighten it up. I, I had done that, but you really need to um, recenter the brake pads as well when you do that, and I hadn't done that. So at least that's what I'm led to believe. I could be wrong, guys. This is all new territory to me. I mean, uh, the bikes I've had in the past have just had you know um, caliper brakes so I've never had disc brakes before so anyway that is the plan Bansdale bike shop vape shop a couple of other things and then Painesville uh, my mate Trev and Cows tells me Painesville is very nice and I have been there over the years several times and I, I agree it's probably you know I've got to go to Bansdale and then down to Painesville and then to get back to Meetung I've got to do a horseshoe and come around that way so it's a bit of sort of you know walking back on myself but I'm sort of riding back on myself but that's okay I just want to get back to the coast guys um yeah so we'll do that Alrighty, let's uh let's do this I'll see you soon ciao for now okay we're heading out of the town proper I Google Maps Bansdale and it said to go riding down this road for six kilometers and then I do a left. Now it's just turning into gravel. So uh, this could be interesting folks. If there are this this particular road I think is called Hillside Road. <laughs> so I'm assuming the name says it all. So there's gonna be some, some hills. Gravel hills, which I may not be able to get up in this rig, depending how steep they are. Anyway, it's a beautiful morning. It's very fresh. Um, and uh, the mountains are over there. Hopefully I've moved my finger from the, the camera lens this time. <laughs> and um, yes, there's a lot of fog. Oh, crikey. It's a bit bumpy as well, this road. Anyway, we've got the sun coming up over there. We've got the mist or the fog, morning dew or whatever it's called. Looking very uh, medieval over there, very gothic. <laughs> yes. And uh, mounds over there, beautiful. Just beautiful. Anyway, I had the best sleep last night and uh, no, um, no weird noises, no nothing. It was great, except for as I was sitting outside uploading the latest upload yesterday, uh, a massive cockroach for some reason decided that my leg looked like a nice place to crawl up. Now this thing was huge. I've never seen a cockroach this big and uh, freaked me out a bit. Anyway, uh, let's see how we go with these hills. All right. Hey folks, I just stopped the bike here to work. I just stopped here guys to put on my clip shoes because it's a bit fresh this morning. And I had a little curious friend come and say hello. Hey buddy. Thank you so much for coming and saying hello. 
Oh, I appreciate that. You have a good day, buddy. Yeah? You have a good day. Okay. See ya. Okay, let's roll. Oh, just to let you know, this gravel road is really bumpy. And there's a whole lot of broken glass along here. More broken glass along this six kilometer stretch of gravel road than I've seen in the last hundred kilometers on bitumen. Uh, not kidding you. It's like somebody's just gone along and smashed a bottle about every couple of hundred meters. It's really frustrating. And it's the kind of smash that goes across the entire width of the road. It's not just in one spot. It's like the whole road. So there's just no way to avoid it. You have to run straight through it. You know, pick a pick a line that doesn't have as much glass. But, yes, yeah, so, you know, small mercies. I haven't got a puncture yet. Uh, all right. See ya. Okay. I'm off the unsealed road. We're back on a sealed road. We're coming up to a little railway crossing. Love the country railway crossings. They don't bother with boom gates. They just, you know, make a noise and the lights flash. So you've always got to be a little bit careful when approaching that you don't have too much speed uh, in case you need to stop in an awful quick hurry. And, uh, and a rig like this, because it's so heavy, uh, you know, once you reach sort of 35, 40 k's an hour, you can kiss your brakes goodbye. You wouldn't even dare touch your brakes going at that speed. So, that was lovely. We've got a, about a kilometre to go before we hit some other highway, freeway, highway, I don't know which one it is, which leads down to Bandstar. So that's what I'm going to do. Talk to you soon. Guys, coming to Bansdale, it was a bit hard to take footage a minute ago because uh, it was pretty hairy coming down into this area. It still is actually. Um, all right, all right, folks. I've left Bansdale. I went did a bit of grocery shopping and um, went to a bike shop, but they're booked out for quite a while. So I just got the guy to. Um, give me a quick skivvy skinny over what I needed to do so that was really good I now know I can do it by myself um, I do need to take the wheel off though and adjust the pads that way so that's what I'll be doing when I get to Painesville yes Trent I'm on my way to Painesville Painesville oh yes the river over there on the left you can't see it at the moment because of all the shrubs in the way. But let me tell you, Bandstar was interesting. I really didn't get hassled at all. Um, mind you, I was uh, in and out like a bloody ninja, mate. They barely knew I was there. And uh, I've maybe there for, for an hour in total. Went to a couple of tobacco shops, none of them sell vape juice. And, um, so yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm going to have to get stuff sent to one of these post offices along my route. And I'm going to need to do that today. Uh, and have it express posted. Because I'm nearly out. Anyway, I'll uh, try and get some footage of this river in a second when it becomes available. And uh, yes. Painful. I think it was 17 k's or something from um, uh, Bensdale. I think we got a bridge coming up. I'm really not sure, but as you can see, I've got my left wheel right on the edge of this thing, and I've got the right wheel just on the other side of that line there, because there's really no shoulder along here. So uh, I really need to stop filming because it's bloody dangerous and I need my wits about me so alright this uh, road now has got a much better shoulder uh, I feel a lot safer at the moment thankfully uh, still haven't had a chance to show you the river which is through that through that thicket through there but I'm sure at some stage you will I was unfortunately uh, unable 
to take any footage coming out of the, the shopping area of Bensdale leading down to the Painesville turnoff because it was mate I was fanging it it was downhill and and then it was one way and there were cars banked up behind me and I'm not sure they would have appreciated me doing a little bit of logging it's about 20 cars all lined up behind me all wanting to go to the same place I was going and I don't want to get there and have a little welcoming party in there a negative welcoming party so I uh, didn't do any vlogging but I missed a really nice transition from the town proper down through under a bridge uh, and here we are on this lovely little road now so uh, hopefully you can see a little bit of the river going up through there but no it's just I'm too low on the hedge the bushes are too high all right okay this apparently the sign back there said bicycle route or path or something so uh, couldn't help myself had to get off the road and come and have a look I don't know how far it goes I hope hopefully it goes all the way into uh, Painesville and keeps me off the road that would be wonderful and if it's like this all the way then that's just totally groovy yes all right still can't see the bloody river because of all the hedges here oh boy oh, oh, ah, a little bit you saw a little bit <laughs> all right plenty more to come I'll uh, find out what river that is shortly and uh, put it up just through there it's quite a wide river as far as rivers go it's probably you know the width of the Murray River in, in sections yeah there we go see that coming up coming up ah oh, nice oh, I tell you what whenever I'm near the water oh, I just feel great I feel so relaxed go got someone fishing there good morning and uh, a lovely pleasant day hope you catch some fish fellas and um, yeah this is very pleasant oh my goodness very nice wow and then there's more a little bit there hopefully we get a bit of a clearing up ahead soon the um, those two chaps back there that were fishing had grabbed the only bit of clear spot there. Oh, hang on. Oh, but I can't get the rig down there. But you get a better look, huh? Look at that. How nice is that? Thank you, Trevor, for suggesting I come down here. I uh, was going to give Painesville uh, a wide berth because it's kind of going back on myself a little bit not kind of I'll show you in the map later you'll, you'll see what I mean so to get out of here I've got to go back to Bansdale and then around again to Meter. so that's why I was going to give this a, a wide berth but geez I'm glad I came because I'm already enjoying it it's great All right okay it looks like this bitumen section is coming to an end I do see a fence right up ahead now apparently the bike path continues but this ends so I'm gonna have a rest up here anyway take off these cleated shoes because my feet swell up in them in the heat and they're right out in the Sun so my feet have their own heartbeat oh that that rhymes my feet my feet they have their own heartbeat a lovely little sonnet there all right here we go uh, oh okay I oh, know they're gonna have these bollard chicane things all along this bike path I certainly hope not oh what a lovely little spot look at that oh there's a nice little boat over there all right let's check out this bike path let's see if it's uh, going to be feasible I might well not might I'm going to have to jump off the rig and go for a bit of a walk down there and see just what quality it is uh, there's I see a bollard there already 
How about that? Anyway, all right. So the time is quarter to 11 on Monday morning, February something or other. And I've just set up here just before the so-called bike path and uh, my rig is right there and I'm just going to have a bite, a snack here and hydrate and then I'm going to have a walk down the bike path only a little way to see if that first bollard is going to accept my rig or not I have a funny feeling that it's not going to I mean even if I got through that one bollard system over there I think somewhere down the track um, I'm going to come unstuck and I don't want to be in an area where I can't back it out of but I'll walk down a bit maybe a hundred meters and and just see what the the terrain is like and um, yeah because I'd much prefer to go down a bike track or walking path than on the road but we'll see all right so the bike path didn't look like it was going to be a good fit so I've had a rest had quick snack and hydrated and I'm back on my way out to get onto the road apparently the township proper of Painesville is about 11 k's to go so I've probably got a kilometre of this to get back out onto the road so we'll call it 12 k's and then uh, I'll take some footage of around there I'll peg out a couple of spots for me to stay I might stay here for a couple of days we'll see how things go um, I've got to work out this vape juice stuff man and uh, I've got to have it posted to me somewhere to a post office so I've got to organize that uh, and I need to stick around for that pretty much um, or work out you know in, however say it takes a week to get here where would I be in a week's time and have it delivered to that post office and I just go through pick it up that kind of thing but the issue is I don't have a week's worth of vape juice left so anyway it's just some of the things when you're in a hurry uh, I knew this was going to happen but uh, I just thought I'll worry about it when I'm on the road because I just wanted to get going anyway got a big hill coming up folks there we go I mean it looked a lot steeper back there funny thing hills from certain distances they look gargantuan and then when you uh, get to the bottom of the hill just before you start going up it it's not as steep as you think all right just coming up to the top of a hill guys and <clears throat> the classic glass on path is coming up and uh, doesn't look like there's a real good line through it so I may have to go out onto the road a bit which is a bit of a bugger because there's a whole heap of cars coming so anyway uh oh there we go found a found a path through I hope oh, crikey stop recording all right here comes the Painesville sign which designates the start of the town. Now there's a road here on the left called Waterview Road that goes to a little place called Eagle Point and uh, yeah we're almost there guys I don't, I'm not sure how far it is from this sign you never really know until you do it Painesville, here we go Beautiful Painesville. I haven't been here for a long, long time. All right. Stop. Here we are, folks, coming into the town centre of Painesville. Now, got to find somewhere quiet to do the service on this rig, have a rest, and uh, hydrate a bit more. Whoa, we're getting some speed up here, boys and girls. Whoa. Jeez, I didn't think we were going to make it with that truck there. I was going to have to drop the, the lanyard. I mean, the release of the grip on the camera. Take the steering wheel and apply some breakage. But, we made it. It's lovely. Hi, guys. Water there on the right. Shops here on the left. Shop. 
Let's go vape juice. I think I'm not gonna find it. But anyway, the first things first, I've got to find a quiet little spot to do these breaks because it's just, it's just got to be done. It's just got to be done, man. This is beautiful. Trev, you weren't wrong, mate. It's been such a long time since I was here last that uh, I don't even remember it, to be honest. That's how long ago it must have been. 20, 30 years, something maybe. Crikey, long time. Anyway, it is awesome. Love it. Love these coastal townships with marinas and boats and there's some big boats over there. I wonder if you can get out to the ocean. Anyway, I'll check all that out later and I will let you know. There's a little park thing down there. We'll go and check that out. Just want to get away from the shops, do the breaks, have a bit of a rest and then go on a bit more of a uh, Looksy, looksy. Yes. Hello. Some people, they're not focused on their driving. They're just looking for cars. I'm gonna have two cars and they pull out on me then. Uh, anyway, this is what it is. Wow, this place is amazing. All right, so much easier with this camera to do stuff like this. I don't have to stop. Don't have to get off, don't have to, oh no, I've got to hold it, <laughs> because the recumbent, the way you're situated on it, you're kind of lying down, it's not like you're walking around with it around your neck and it's totally vertical, it ends up looking at the roof, oh man, this place is rocking, I like it, oh there's the barge that Trev was telling me about, you can take that across to Meetung I believe don't have to go all the way around you know what I might do that I'll look into that that's a bit of a novelty thing to do yes like the old novelties it's a novelty all right okay and uh, we'll go have a do a, a u-bolt down here ferry u-turn gonna go over in the u-turn lane because that's what we want to do Wow, some nice boats here, folks. I, uh, yeah, some very nice boats. I'm, I'm going to have to guesstimate that you can get out to sea from here. I mean, we've got ocean-going boats here, guys. Why else would they be here if you cannot access blue water? Surely they don't just sail around on the lakes in such a big boat, surely. All right. These people are waiting for the barge. Welcome to Raymond Island Ferry. Oh, they call it a ferry. Okay, but I'm pretty sure you can drive your car on there. Yes, you can. You can. Hang on. That doesn't look like it goes very far. What Bay Island? All right, we'll check that out in a minute, guys. Don't worry. Wow, check it out. This place is amazing. There's the Painesville Hotel. Painesville Hotel. Oh, this place is awesome, man. Howdy. Drive through. I'll see you later. <laughs> go. Food works. Lovely. Here we go. Uh, township, township, township. La, 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 la. The looks on some people's faces is just, uh, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> some people's looks are like, yeah, you can keep that look, mate, all to yourself. I'm not having that come anywhere near me. Maritime Museum. All right, kids playground. Okay, ah, oh, that's where that park is down there. We've got a few kids down there though. I'll we'll try and find something a bit quieter so I can do this service. Got to expect that 
few people might come over and that's okay. Just gotta remember to be kind, gentle and calm. And uh, still do what I need to do. And at the same time, I don't need to be rude like I was the other day. Yesterday, I think it was. It was just borderline rude to a few people. But we're just curious, mate. And uh, I didn't feel good after that. Took me a few, few hours to get over my own stupidity. Anyway, I'm feeling a lot better today. And places like this help a lot. The water, mate. Oh, I cannot, <laughs> cannot tell you the difference water makes. There's some people. Hello, people. <laughs> Here we go. It's a big wave. And uh, somewhere up here, I'm trying to find a place to do this service. Craft center. Hang on. I have a funny feeling that I'm going to get mobbed in this little town, Trevor. Pandy. Pandy. Just had to turn the indicator off. Ah, with the, the hand that the, um, the DJI is in. Oh, mate, look at this for a spot to do a service. There's hard ground there. I need hard ground. Because I've got the jack. That's what I use, folks. But you know what? I'm going to keep going a bit further. See if there's uh, even something further afield for me to do this work. Because, oh wow, the, it looks, looks like there kind of is, huh? Look at all this stuff here. Oh my, oh shit. Oh, good heavens. That was like some sort of reverse speed hump. Instead of going up, it just fucking went down. And you couldn't see it until the last second. Doesn't help when you're trying to shoot footage at the same time. Anyway, fucking hell. There goes the wheel alignment. <laughs> so, just kidding. There's no wheel alignment to do, I don't think. It's not a car, unless they call it chewing the wheel. It's uh, with the spokes, I guess that's a similar thing. Oh man, bloody hell. This place is rocking. Well, there's some little island out there. Alcatraz. Yeah, that's where they put the naughty boys. Yes. Right. I might be put over there later if I don't behave myself. Hmm. Okay. Let's be good. Good little boy scouts. Yes. Okay. Well, that looks nice spot right in there, but not sure how much of that um other filming I did has been saved, guys, because. This uh, thing seems to turn off after about, I don't know, by the look of it, a few minutes, five, ten minutes. Bloody hell, these fucking reverse fucking speed humps are just fucking awful. Bloody hell. Oh, have a look at this. Have a look at this place, mate. Bloody hell. Is this some kind of yachty's paradise or what? This is insane. Look at this. Look at this over here. Beautiful tables and chairs. And uh, yes, I might um, go over there in a minute, but I'm going to do the service up here away from people because there's a few people over there with their kids. And I might like to do some filming over there while I'm doing this. And I'll try and keep people to a minimum in my videos because they can ask you to delete them and you are ethically and legally obliged to do so. Otherwise you use, lose your YouTube channel. Yeah, so I've just come over here to sit down and have a rest for a few minutes. Oops, sorry. It was only about a 12k ride from that last spot that I stopped at on the river. Uh, <clears throat> but I just want to sit down and enjoy this for a minute. It's still only early in the day. It's only 12.24pm on Monday morning. The rig's over there. I am going to set it up over here later and get a good thumbnail shot oh there's a couple of nice a nice catch over there it's like a pilot house catch geez there is some really nice big boats here guys i'm gonna have to check it out if you can actually access the the ocean from here um yeah 
such a good spot my goodness all right i'm gonna call trevor and uh say good day <laughs>